Kia ora team, welcome to Daisy Technical. This is part of a series of videos that I'm doing which are technical deep dives into some of the underlying mechanics behind the Daisy game that will affect your gameplay. One of the most important things that you're going to run across during your time in Daisy is the issues with managing your inventory and managing your stamina. But it's not nearly as simple as it at first seems. So I'm going to take an in-depth look at some of the factors that affect your stamina and inventory management and how they play out because it may not be as straightforward as it looks. But we're going to spend some time finding out. So stay with me, click the like, click subscribe and see you soon. Okay, so let's talk about stamina management, which really what we're talking about is weight management. Um, the situation is, as I'm sure you're probably aware, and I'm surrounded by a whole lot of stuff here, but if I were to start picking up all this stuff and filling up my inventory with things, my stamina bar, which is the bar on the left, would um, would drop. And I'll pick one particularly heavy item, which is this water can, um, just to show you. There you go. I've just added that water can, which is uh, about 18 kgs, and, and that has just dropped. If I get rid of it, my stamina bumps back up again. Now, here's the thing, and I think that this is probably often confused in the game and it initially confused me until i spent a bit more time looking into it <clears throat> but i haven't really seen any any other content creators discuss it um this way so um maybe it was blindingly obvious maybe it wasn't but you will see obviously that in the equipment that is on me I have the numbers in the top right. I've got a vest, which is a number of nine, a uh, jacket, which has a number of 12, belt with three, pants with 12, backpack with 35, etc. That's just the capacity. That's, that's not the weight. That's, an, uh, that's a function of inventory. And we'll talk about inventory management in, in a separate um, tech video. What we're really concerned here with stamina is about weight. Now, each of these pieces of equipment has a weight up there in the top. This one is under 0.25 kilograms. If I go over here, this weapon has about 4 kilograms. We have a battery, which is about 18 kilograms. And we have the jerry can, which is about 18 kilograms. Now, there is a little bit of a problem with that, about um, or under, because obviously that isn't giving us an exact figure to determine weight. So what we have to do is we have to work with some assumptions. Now, weight is not a function of inventory capacity. Let's be abundantly clear about that because I think there's some confusion about that. Um, this truck battery weighs about 18 kilograms and takes up 15 inventory slots. This jerry can weighs about 18 kilograms and takes up twice as many, 30 inventory slots. This weapon takes up 24 inventory slots, but only weighs about four kilograms. So one of the things that I think people often confuse with is they think, well, this takes up 21, so it probably weighs more than that, which is not actually true. This pelt only weighs under a kilogram. This weighs a lot more. It's just that this is trickier to carry. And one of the probably the things with that is things like a pickaxe. A pickaxe looks like it takes up an awful lot of space, and it does take up an awful lot of space, but it doesn't take up an awful lot of weight. It's about a kilo which is about the same as a full bottle of water, which only takes up an inventory space of three. So my first thing would be, do not confuse inventory space with weight. It is very different. If I put a plastic bottle in my inventory, it's going to have an almost negligible impact on my stamina. If I put um, this truck battery in my inventory, it's going to have quite a sizable chunk on my stamina. So don't confuse the two, okay? That's probably my first tip. 
So what does all this mean really in the function of things? Well, I've been doing a little bit of look at this and it's 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 sort of interesting. The numbers that I get are quite interesting. So I'm wearing approximately 10 kilos of equipment. Um, we've got here, you know, this is under 0.25. This is about two and this is about two and this is about two and this is um, about two and these are I think half and one together and collectively that's 9.75 kilos about or thereabouts right so that has affected my stamina down at the bottom and my stamina has reduced by about nine percent so the first 10 kilos of stuff that I am wearing um, drops my uh, stamina by about 9%. Now, the thing is, where we go from here is quite interesting because the next 10 kilograms, which I should do right now, so you can now see that I've added a couple more weapons and I've added a few more well-chosen weights into my garments. So now my total weight is approximately 20 kilos of what I'm carrying. And you'll see that my stamina has dropped again. But now my stamina has dropped quite a bit. My total stamina reduction for 20 kilos is actually 27%. So I'm currently running at around about 71, 72, 73 percent of my total stamina unfortunately the abouts and unders um make this number kind of tricky to pin down exactly because i don't know what exact fractions of weights i'm using here but what that effectively means is while the first 10 kilograms took nine percent off my stamina the next 10 kilograms took 18 percent off my stamina which is quite interesting because if I do it again with 30 kilos so I'm now at about 30 kilos and that's because I've picked up this big truck battery and uh, slapped it in my field jacket and done a little bit of um, correction you'll see that at just around 30 kilos my stamina is now around about 55%. So I have lost in total 45%. That's the difference between where I was and where I am is about 17 or 18%. So I won't carry on um, because the, the trend is exactly the same. The first 10 kilos drops your stamina by about 9%, give or take. Each 10 kilos after that drops your stamina by another 18%. At 20 kilos, your stamina is about 72% of what it should be. At 30 kilos, it's about 55% of what it should be. At 40 kilos, it's about 37% of what it should be. At 50 kilos, it's about 20% of what it should be. And here is where it starts to get very interesting. Beyond 50 kilos, it plateaus out. Somewhere between about 50 and 55 kilos, your total stamina drops to about 4.5%. So I'll just load up with a whole load of weight. So here we are, loaded up at around about 50 kilos, and I'm operating at about 20% of my stamina. Now let's see if we can add about another 5. Well, this is about 5, so we'll add that now. And you see that drop there so that drop there takes me down to about 12 or 13 percent let's add about another five carp's good for two 
Let's add the backpack, shall we? It's good for another two. That's four. And let's add one of these, which is about one. See that it moved marginally. See how far down we are at the bottom of the scale now. Now we are operating somewhere in the region of about 4%. So we have used up 96% of our stamina in carrying what amounts to 60 kilos of weight. Now, the interesting thing beyond this is that's it. It never goes any lower than that. I, I, I mean, I have capacity here. Um, I have an assault vest with 30 in it. I have a field jacket with room for three. I have a mountain backpack, which is absolutely empty. And I can fill up with all these items and we'll start picking stuff that's heavy. Guns in particular are sort of heavy. So let's whack a few guns in. My stamina didn't change. Did you notice that? Let's just get rid of that gun. Where'd the other large gun go? Went into my assault vest. No change. So that between the two of them, 4 kg and 4, that's 8 kg. Here we go again. In. in nothing no change so i've added nearly 10 kg if i add the leather and i add a saw that's another that's 10 kg so i've now gone up to i'm now at 70 kgs but my stamina hasn't changed and that continues and if i can keep adding stuff and, and it won't change the bottom of the curve is around about four percent So there you go. I found that all very interesting. It's it's very interesting when it comes to managing what you're carrying, how you're carrying it, and um, and and how you select things as well. Because, like I said, you have inventory space, but it's not the same as weight. Um, I'm also going to say that the the obvious issue we have here is, you know, does it matter where you put things? No, it doesn't. It's it's a solid weight. So it doesn't matter where you've got, you know, 15 kgs in your field jacket or you've got 15 kgs in your salt vest or you've got 15 kgs in your pants or your backpack. It still shows up the same on your stamina reduction. Um, the obvious other thing in relation to stamina is is vessels. So vessels like this, this, this is obviously a jerry can. It is filled with water. It weighs about 18 kg only in so much as what's in it so if i was to come over here and tip some of this out it's it's obviously dropped in weight so vessels and things that you can carry stuff in is obviously heavily dependent on the amount of substance that's in it Water is, is particularly heavy, so it's one of the easiest ones to show the comparison of. The There is a bit of a, an interesting thing, though. Um, if you note with the jerry can, let's take the jerry can, for example. Let's put it down here. So you see that my inventory, uh, sorry, my stamina um, went up a bit. If I pick it up in my hands, you see that my stamina drops quite a bit. Uh, the jerry can weighs about 14 kgs uh, and has an inventory slot of 30, right? We, we'll get that. <sighs> this is a power generator. Power generator weighs about 50 kilograms. <laughs> so you can obviously see that when I pick that up, it has quite an effect on my uh, on my stamina, so put that down. But like I've said to you, because you never go below that value there, you know, I'm, what am I at now? I mean, the total amount of things I'm carrying is up around like I don't know, 110 or something. So you um, you can put that down. Thank you very much. I have here some sheet metal. I picked that up. Not the same problem, right? In terms of capacity, it's it's 100 capacity, but again, it only weighs 2 kg. So again, 
carrying sheet metal isn't a function of its weight that you can't put it in your backpack. It's a function of capacity. So be aware about things that you carry in your hands. Uh, again, it, yeah, it will slow you down when you pick it up and put it in your hands. It will absolutely impact your stamina. Um, but it's definitely a, a function of the weight that you've got in it. So there we are. I hope that's been really helpful. Um, I hope you understand a little bit more about how um, you shouldn't just confuse inventory space with weight and how your weight affects your stamina. The first uh, 10 kgs or so obviously set aside for clothing seems to be uh, a lot less of a drain on your person than every other 10 kgs after that. And it seems to be a fairly linear relationship. There's more or less a kind of a, a 17 to 18% drop or something like that um, between um, each level. So how much you decide to carry is going to be something that you're going to want to think quite a lot about and also think about how much it weighs to carry some objects. And when it comes to guns, you, you might think about how much each gun weighs. That weighs 3 kg, that weighs 3 kg, that weighs 4 kg. So it's a, it's a little bit heavier. Um, you know, and then you might think about do you need weight reduction items? Uh, you know, you can't really do much with a tundra, but with um, with some of these other weapons, you can get weight reducing composite, uh, you know, uh, butt stocks and trim down butt stocks. You can, for example, the shotgun, you can saw it off, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so you might think to yourself, well, do I really need to carry that? Because obviously, um, you know, with the weights issue, it's not necessarily just about inventory space. I've got plenty of inventory space, but I'm not going to be running very far with my stamina impacted the way it's impacted. So that's the end of this one, um, talking about the generalities of stamina and why stamina is important. Um, I'll go on to discuss some of the other impacts to stamina in some of my later videos, but I wanted to keep this separate. I wanted to keep it uh, relatively straightforward. There's a fair amount of uh, data to digest, and um, it is the kind of thing that uh, that is kind of hard, and it is the kind of thing that I think we need to understand as a basis before we move on to discuss other things in relation to stamina and things like uh, inventory management. So I hope you found it informative, and I hope that it has helped you in some small way and I hope that it gives you something to think about. So don't forget to click that like button, click that bell notification, hit that subscribe and if you've got any questions, comments, clarifications, please, please, please drop them along. Uh, I do try and answer almost everything where I can and um, yeah, if you've got any other thoughts or anything, uh, just let me know. But for now, that's it. Ta-ta.